ghostly form returned. The first sighting of the ghost ship Bechimo was by Inuit hunters who saw it from a distance and noticed that it was unmanned and floating freely. In May 1932, a gentleman called Leslie Melvin actually boarded the Bay Chimo. This time it was in a different location. Yet at the same time, planes flying over the area could see nothing, no sign at all of the Bay Chimo. He discovers it's completely deserted and wonders, how did it get here? Did it sail itself? After this, Sightings continued for an astonishing 38 years, but the ship remained out of reach to anyone attempting to salvage it. The strange thing is, anyone who seeks out the Bechimo never finds it. They see it, it starts moving away at unnatural speeds, or if they approach it and, and try to board it, extreme weather comes out of nowhere and prohibits them from doing so. It's almost as though the Alaska Triangle is using supernatural forces to protect the ship. All this was adding to a growing myth about the ship. There's a real ghost ship, something just on the edge of reality, possibly slightly into a more otherworldly reality. But to the native people, it wasn't so much a ghost ship as a spirit moving in another dimension. Kidu Vidiwak Richard is a native shaman. The Native American view on reality is everything is made of spirit. Everything in this reality has a certain spirit. Reality is made of spirit. And there are different realities that have different degrees or strengths of spiritual energy. This world is also a spirit world. The Bay Chimo was moving between different levels of spirit. And when something goes to a different spirit world, it's like saying a different dimension. We're talking about another place that's like this, but it's like a different layer. If this theory is true, would a different layer of reality explain the mysterious voyage of a second ship, which disappeared in Alaska in the 1760s? It was last seen with all its crew frozen solid beneath the decks. Is this, once again, the triangle at work? Brought to you by Acura.